Hey there everyone, Melissa Jakes with John L. Scott Real Estate and we are at Heritage Park with Jason Moon um, and this is another episode of Cruising Columbia County. Jason, what kind of happenings happen here at Heritage Park in Scappoose um, on a regular basis? Well, I mean, we're just coming out of summer. Uh, I was bringing my kiddos here to their Friday movie nights, which is pretty fun. You know, they would show like a, usually like a vintage movie. Uh, we saw fun. Uh, Indiana Jones here and a, and a couple others. Um, yeah, the cool. library always has happenings. Uh, the Watt House uh, with the Historical Society, they're always doing great things. And this winter, they're opening up Whoville again uh, over here. So al always fun things happening yeah. at Heritage Park and the library. And it's great because it's all in walking distance. You know, it's all very yeah. close together. Um, on, during the summer, they also have a Saturday market right up, I mean, literally just steps away from where we're at. But yeah, um, to and, kind of, yeah okay. and I'm a little biased because they also have uh, the Rotary Foundation fountain here. So, yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool because you're part of the Rotary too, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, something too to talk about your business and the things you're involved with. Um, Jason just recently taught a class at First American Title, and he talked about how many people commute into Portland or out, outlying areas outside of the county, which is a pretty astronomical number. It was a little over 18,000, right? Yeah, a little over 18,000 people um, exit the, the county for work. I, I think that equates uh, to over 70 percent of well, our workforce. Yeah. It, it pretty drastically can impact our local shops and things here, too. Can you elaborate a little more about that? About yeah, seen? I mean, you know, we're trying to affect change. We're trying to um, create more jobs and more industry here in Columbia County. Again, if we have over 18,000 people that are leaving the county, that's that's a huge workforce. Yeah. Uh, and those people, when they work in Portland or Hillsboro, uh, they're having lunch in Portland and Hillsboro, or they're shopping after work and they're spending them, their money elsewhere. So uh, we're really trying to uh, focus on, again, uh, keeping it local and uh, creating uh, jobs and, and more uh, successful businesses here in the county and keeping those dollars here. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and I know you touched base on this too, about not wanting to commute into Portland or, you know, being able to spend more time out here. So I think for me in real estate, I love that idea, being able to keep it local. And the more we do that, then our, you know, economics will grow in this area. The businesses will grow and need to hire more employees. And there's something you were doing with the school district, I think, that was talking about um, trying to help students get ready and prepared to enter the workforce. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really passionate around any project that um, works with our youth. And uh, right now we're working with some of the local area high schools to partner with them on their youth entrepreneurship programs. Um, again, that we're in the county, we have a, a mass exodus of young people uh, and, and they usually don't come back until their 30s. So we're really hoping that uh, if we bolster CTE programs or youth entrepreneurship that uh, we can create more jobs and more businesses straight out of high school here. So, Yeah, that would be pretty incredible. And um, can you break it down in layman's terms of the CTE you said? What exactly does that, is it an acronym? Does it stand for anything specific? Yeah, so it's, um, we're, you're, we're talking about um, technical training. Okay. Um, so, you know, going back to the trades mm -hmm. and, um, you know, whether that's around machining, manufacturing, um, you know, there's some great programs that happen at PCC OMEC mm -hmm. uh, trades programs where they help teach our youth, um, you know, different things like welding and electrical and stuff of that nature. So things yeah, that can just, be very, very lucrative if you get into it. And but also I think that there's a shortage in trade jobs anyways right now. Yeah, um, I mean, there was a huge push for everyone to go to college, which is fine. Uh, I believe in higher education, um, but it's not that traditional path isn't for everyone. So. Right. Yeah, just, just trying to meet our youth where they're at. And, and uh, again, we have a great working class community out here in Columbia mm -hmm. County. And, and just how do we foster that and create more jobs? Well, on, on, a, on kind of flipping the scales too, what's like the best advice for entrepreneurs other than scheduling an appointment with him? Because all of this <laughs> advice, again, is free. But like, what do you think that is like the biggest mistake that businesses make that when they're getting started? Um, well... I mean, there's a lot of mistakes that can be made. Uh, I think uh, rather than mistake, I think one of the biggest opportunities that's missed is uh, utilizing the resources that are mm -hmm. available to you. And one of those is, again, the free confidential business advising and, and developing a business plan. We were just talking about, you know, there's almost 50% of our businesses here in Columbia County that don't actually have a business plan. So um, the success rate of small business goes up 
uh, drastically when you engage with an advisor. I think you said advisor. 60% or something thereabouts, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, otherwise, you know, there's a really high failure rate for small business in the first five years. So, yeah, I just, whether it's with me or another advisor or anyone, uh, just uh, leverage those resources that are available to you. Yeah. yeah. And I will make sure to have Jason's contact information on here so you'll be able to reach out to him if you're like, hey, I've got this great idea, but how do I make it come true? Uh, can you show us around and just point out for everybody that's tuning in where we're at and what's all surrounding us? Sure. All right, yeah. let's walk. Let's do it. All right, so we have what? <laughs> so, so, yeah, I mean, you know, over here, the yellow, we have the Watts house. Yeah. Um, again, that's ran by the, uh, I believe it's the Scapoose Historical Society. Yeah. Um, if you've never been in there, you should get a tour. Uh, they've been, uh, you know, St. Helens, sort of the owner of Halloween. I think uh, Scapoose is going to be in the running for owning Christmas. They do. And I think they're doing a big cr uh, Grinch theme. Yep. And yeah, yep. Whoville, yep. like they said. So Yeah. Um, so I, I could really see this area becoming like a night market or something and attracting people here through the winter months uh, yeah. beyond October. So I think I feel like that's a real opportunity for the yeah. city of Scapoose and the county. And then, um, yeah. And We've then got the library right here. Got the library. And then a Veterans Memorial, which is great. Yep. Something that's fun about this feature that the Rotary got, you said sponsored to get it repaired or funded it. Um, it does a little trick, so which is kind of cool. Yeah, so this is, uh, it's a Michael Curry design, uh, local designer here to the county. And the Columbia County Rotary actually helped fund uh, this. Uh, you get out here, you see the Rotary four-way test uh, and our community sponsors, but uh, it, plays, it plays music and and does all kinds of cool stuff. That's a pretty cool feature. Well, and thank it, you for tuning in this week to uh, Cruise in Columbia County with Melissa Jakes. Thanks again, Jason, for joining me. Of course, anytime. Tune in and subscribe. Thanks.